Frank Fancy Amelia. Welcome back to the episode of Frank Fancy Man, Frank C. Uh, today is Valentine's Day, February 14th. So, um, just wanted to drop a quick, you know, some quick fragrance ideas for Valentine's Day. You know, if you're going out, um, you know, with your uh, your wife, girlfriend, significant other, um, I just wanted to go over some ideas. This is seven fragrances uh, that I think are really good for Valentine's Day, like romantic type, you know, close encounter fragrance. So, um, there's not going to be any particular order. We'll jump right into it. And I'll, I'll let you know which one I'll probably be wearing uh, tonight as well. So, starting the list off, um, we're going to go, because I know no particular order, I'm just going to grab them and start speaking on them. Uh, from the House of Gear Long, this is Gear Long Lombi the Owl. This is the original Lombi the Owl. Um, with this one, this has the almond note. Um, nice almond in there. Uh, there's some iris. Um, it's, it's in the same vein as uh, the Your Own. Um, you know, I want to kind of make this kind of a, kind of a, you know, maybe kind of a little bit off, a little bit off the beaten path, not too far off the beaten path, as far as the selection. So, uh, this one, Lombi the Owl, is great. Uh, great projection. Uh, this is the original uh, from Guerlain, Lomi E the Outline. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's a great close encounter scent, moderate projection, uh, really, really nice uh, sensual type scent for your nights out, special Valentine's Day. So, so this is uh, from House of Guerlain, this is Lomi the Owl. Uh, this next one, it gets talked about a lot in the uh, fragrance community uh, still. This is from House of Dolce Gabbana, this is Dolce Gabbana the One. Uh, this is the EDP. Um, now, the, now both Dolce Gabbana, the EDP, and the, and the EDT are kind of lackluster performers. But once again, this is like a close encounter scent. You know, uh, you're in close proxim proximity, so uh, this doesn't really have to scream and project all over the place. Uh, this is another nice, you know, spicy scent. Uh, you know, a little uh, leather in there. They're a little boozy. And um, this is the EDP version of Dolce Gabbana, the one. So from the House of Dolce Gabbana, this is the one EDP. So start grabbing them next. It's also always a perennial favorite of mine for the winter time. Uh, and this is Bulgari Man Black Orient. Um, you know, this is, in my opinion, the best one, the Bulgari Black uh, uh, line, Bulgari Man Black line. Um, I have this one and I have Black Cologne. Cologne I wear in summer, spring. This one is my, my winter. Uh, winter one. This is a nice um, strong projector. You're going to get about seven, eight hours of longevity, at least on my skin. Uh, you know, boozy, spicy. Um, you know, some, there's some little bit of oud in there. Just, just a great scent. Uh, one of my great darker scents. Um, and that's from the house of Bulgari. That's Man Bulgari uh, Black Bulgari Man Black Orient. Black Orient. Okay. Next, uh, this one, my wife likes this, likes this one a lot. Um, this is really, really um, one of my favorites also from the House of Al Haramain. This is Al Haramain Amber Oud. This is the tobacco edition. Uh, powerful scent. I mean, this is like um, 11 to 12 hours. I mean, you, you, get, the, you get the Oud. Um, and this is that, that Middle Eastern, uh, you know, Oud. Uh, still, still not really that skanky Oud. It's still a nice, smooth Oud, but it's, it's, it's definitely, definitely a little... A little rough, but you know, once it wears on you a little bit, it starts smoothing out. Um, great longevity, uh, and you know, th this is one of those ones where um, you know it's good for close encounters, but it's also you know good uh, as far as the projection for other other to smell you as well. So great, um, I got a couple compliments on this. This is this is one of my winter uh, beast beast fragrances. So um, for House House of uh, Al Haramain, this is Al Haramain. Uh, um, <laughs> Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. Right. Okay. All right. Next is going to be from the house. This one gets talked about a lot. Um, it was not my winter list. Um, full disclosure, I might have to, have to do that video over again. I'm, I'm trying to... It was, it was a 20-something 20, 20 minute long video because I had fall and winter combined. But I might have to do that, do that over again. I'm going to try to try again. Try to get something worked out as far as getting the footage up. Loaded has some type of downloading issues. But nevertheless... House of Moschino, this is Moschino Toy Boy. This is a nice uh, rose, it's a masculine rose fragrance. Um, it's another one my wife likes a lot. I mean, it's, it's, it's a silly packaging, you know, the little bear, my little uh, three-year-old daughter always, when she <laughs> pulls off my uh, cologne stand, she's always, you know, playing with it, she thinks it's a toy, but little, little cheeky, smiley bear there, but inside is definitely a serious scent. 
it's a, it's a, it's a rose based uh, scent. You have some, uh, some spices in there. It's another one, it's a great projector, um, serious longevity. I like it a lot, and it's a nice sleeper from, from uh, Moschino. So um, it's, it started, started the flood of the discount, discount markets now. So um, I would definitely recommend picking it up. It's a definitely, definitely a win for Valentine's Day. Uh, from House uh, Moschino, this is Toy Boy. Um, next, I just um, actually this is a Christmas present from, from my wife, and uh, it's been on my list for a long time. So I'm glad I have it. I've been wearing it a lot. This one, House of Victor Rolf, is a Spice Bomb Extreme. Very nice, very nice. Um, if you, to me, this smells. If you know any, if you know anything about Tom Ford, um, Tom Ford Noir ex Extreme. Uh, this is a lot like that. Um, I have that one also, but this one, that one is a little more because they have the, the, the Kofi, that uh, the, that Indian dessert type vibe that's with it, like it's kind of a nutty pistachio type vibe. Um, this one um, focuses uh, more on the on the spices. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's it's a lot of I pick up a lot of vanilla in this one too. But if you know anything about uh, Tom Ford Noir Extreme, uh, in my opinion, this is a, a lot. Uh, similar to that one so uh, this is a definite I mean this one is definitely uh, almost beast mode on my skin uh, the longevity is moderate but it's a uh, great projector um, you know longevity uh, I used to get about maybe four or five hours of longevity but it projects a lot it's, a, it's definitely a projector um, it's a great scent good, good glad to have my collection and I think this would be a great uh, wear for Valentine's Day um, it's my personal opinion for the house of Victor and Rolf, that is Spice Palm Extreme. Okay, now this one is going to be one I'm going to probably wear uh, tonight um, when, my, when my wife and I would go out tonight. Um, this is from the house of Paco Rabanne. This is uh, Invictus Intense uh, and the Black Bottle. Um, Invictus Intense is, um, is really my favorite of the Invictus line. I mean, I'm not really an Invictus fanboy anything I have um, 2018 uh, I have um, regular Invictus and I have uh, this one so out of my three Invictuses that I have I, I, I like this one the best definitely looking for if, any, if anyone has the the grail <laughs> the 2016 original uh, Victus Aqua um, uh, definitely looking looking to pick that up at some point just having a collection but this but this uh, right now is my favorite favorite from the Victus line and this one kind of smells a lot like if you already, if you already have, uh, in my opinion, if you already have Invictus Intense, is I don't think it's worth picking up the uh, the um, uh, Bad Boy, the Carolina Herrera Bad Boy. It's a lot like this. I don't I don't know. There's some type of I have probably do some more research on that to see who was involved in the creation of these two fragrances. But that one reminds me a lot. This one this one reminds me a lot of uh, Carolina Herrera uh, Bad Boy, the, the Thunderbolt. Um, I've, I've smelled that a few times and I just like I'm not gonna you know this is basically the same scent uh, with this one uh, good good projection good longevity and uh, this also smells a lot smells a lot like um, I just I actually just got my wife the Carolina Herrera um, good girl the Ligier edition uh, this one smells a lot like the Carolina Herrera uh, the original which she also has so um, Kind of the masculine version of that, so she'll probably be wearing it tonight. I'll be wearing this tonight, so um, this will be, be my pick for Valentine's Day for tonight. So, Invictus Intense, um, definitely. If you, if you don't have any collections, I think it's definitely worth picking up. And if you have it, it's, it's one of it's my recommendation to wear for Valentine's if you're going out anywhere or if you're just staying home and you just want to smoke good at home. So, uh, Frigus Miss Amelia, thank you. Uh, for all the support, all the um, all your comments, your feedback, please keep them coming. Um, you know, just try to work on getting some more content out there. Uh, you know, please check out my other videos. Uh, you know, please spread the word. Um, you know, probably working on getting on Instagram and kind of just getting getting the word getting the word out there as far as uh, you know this fragrance community is concerned. So, till next time, fragrance fragrance Amelia. Happy Valentine's Day. Be safe, to everyone. Take care.